Science. In this video, let's learn how to calculate or convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, and then we'll convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's get started. The formula I like to use for Celsius to Fahrenheit is Celsius degree times 1.8, and then add 32. So let's get started. We have 15 times 1.8. Okay, when you multiply that, that equals 27. And then you just merely add 32 to that, and that gives you 59 degrees Fahrenheit. How about a negative number? Well, let's go negative 5 times 1.8, and that is going to equal uh, negative 9, and then add 32 to negative 9, and remember you can look at it like 32 minus 9, and that equals 23 degrees Fahrenheit. And finally, let's go with 4. Um, 4 times 1.8 equals 7.2. Add 32, and that equals 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, now let's move on to Fahrenheit to Celsius. Very quickly, if you want to estimate, what you can do is just multiply your Celsius degree times 2 and add 32, and that's a nice estimation. For example, 15 times 2 is 30. Add 32 is 64. It gets you close. Not exact, but it's a good way to estimate. Okay, next up is Fahrenheit to Celsius. The formula I like to use is take your Fahrenheit degree Subtract 32 and divide by 1.8. You may see it as Fahrenheit minus 32 times 0.555, but I like to keep it consistent. That way you only have to remember 1.8. So let's work some examples. We have 90 degrees minus 32. 90 minus 32 equals 58. And then when you divide 58 by 1.8, that is going to equal 32.2, whoop, not 3, 2, 2 degrees, uh, and we are in Celsius. Let me rewrite that. That's 32.22 degrees Celsius, okay? How about a negative number? Well, let's look at it. You have minus 35, minus 32, which, remember, they're same signs, so we are going to add them. So that is going to equal minus 67, negative 67, divided by 1.8 is now going to equal um, negative 37.22 degrees Celsius. Okay, And finally, we have 15 degrees. So let's go 15 minus 32 equals a negative 17, divide negative 17 times 1.8, and that is going to equal a negative 9.45 degrees Celsius. So there we go. That's all it is, converting Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.